Welcome to Los Angeles Lakers News. Your ultimate source for all things Lakers. It's going to be an exciting summer for the purple and gold as they gear up to construct a roster capable of securing their 18th NBA championship next season. However, the big question remains, will D'Angelo Russell be a part of the Lakers' future? Many Lakers fans have been reaching out and wondering if the Lakers can sign and trade D'Angelo Russell. The popular target in these discussions is Kyrie Irving, but I've already explained why finalizing a deal to acquire Irving poses significant challenges. If D'Angelo Russell joins the Lakers, it could happen either through him signing as a free agent, which would require a substantial pay cut, or through a double sign and trade that would trigger a hard cap for the Lakers, making it extremely difficult to fill out the rest of the roster. It's a challenging path to pursue if the goal is to bring Kyrie Irving to LA. However, it's not entirely impossible. Lakers fans need to understand that pinning their hopes solely on Kyrie's arrival in LA will likely lead to disappointment. While it's not impossible, it's crucial to acknowledge the obstacles. Mark Stein, in his substack, shed light on the Dallas Mavericks' perspective in this scenario. The Mavericks have shown no interest in a sign and trade involving D'Angelo Russell as the primary player heading to Dallas. Their priority seems to be re-signing Irving. Additionally, the Lakers' preferred course of action appears to be retaining restricted free agents Austin Reeves and Rui Hakimura, but their intentions regarding Russell's future are less clear. D'Angelo Russell's performance in the Western Conference Finals, averaging 6.3 points per game, shooting 32% from the field and 13% from three, did not impress. Thus, it comes as no surprise that the Mavericks would not be enthusiastic about engaging in a double sign and trade to acquire Russell in exchange for Kyrie Irving. The Lakers have publicly expressed their intention to match any offer for Reeves and Hakimura, a strategic move to dissuade other teams from pursuing them and potentially wasting their time. Similarly, the Dallas Mavericks currently maintain a strong stance of not engaging in a sign and trade for Kyrie Irving. They expect interested teams to clear their cap space and sign him as a free agent, which many teams might not be willing to do. The Mavericks' stance aims to discourage potential suitors from even asking about a sign and trade. Of course, if Kyrie pushes for a different outcome, the situation might change, but that seems unlikely at this stage. With over a month until free agency begins, the Mavericks' firm position is understandable. Considering all the information available, it's highly unlikely that the Mavericks would be interested in swapping Kyrie Irving for D'Angelo Russell. Instead, they will likely do everything possible to re-sign Irving, which aligns with the current indications. Although D'Angelo Russell's postseason performance was subpar, it's important to note that his regular season stats were much more promising, averaging over 17 points and 6 assists per game, shooting better than 40% from 3. He integrated well on the offensive end and showcased decent team defense. The Lakers could potentially leverage the perceived lack of interest in Russell around the league to their advantage in contract negotiations. Even if you're not a fan of D'Angelo Russell, his return to the Lakers on a team-friendly and tradable deal wouldn't be the worst outcome. Having him on such a contract could provide flexibility for future moves. Furthermore, he could contribute significantly to the team's offense, especially when LeBron James is unavailable. Resigning Russell shouldn't be viewed as a poor decision by the Lakers. While there are differing opinions among Lakers fans, there doesn't seem to be significant interest from other teams in acquiring D'Angelo Russell. This situation could work in the Lakers' favor, allowing them to potentially sign Russell to a team-friendly deal, possibly on a short-term basis. If things don't pan out, they could explore trading him during the upcoming season. Lakers Nation, what are your thoughts on bringing back D'Angelo Russell? Should Rob Palinka leave no stone unturned and actively search for sign and trade opportunities? Share your opinions in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Los Angeles Lakers News for all the latest updates.